I'm Bea, and this is Brian, and today on Wiz Pop Minute, we're talking about Baby Driver, because it's coming out on Blu-ray. It's always baby, baby, baby. The surprise hit of the summer was Baby Driver. It was number one its opening weekend. It got released earlier than expected by Sony because it did so well at South by Southwest. And now it's carrying that momentum right into the Oscar season with its release on Blu-ray today. I'm gonna pick it up and I love it. What did you think, B? I absolutely adored that movie because one, it's fun. It's an Edgar Wright movie, so it's amazing. But it's Edgar Wright with a car. And it's got a killer soundtrack that almost makes it the first car chase musical? I, I mean, I would say so, or at the very least like a music video, because it's like all of the scenes are cut exactly to the beats of the different songs that he picked for it. Edgar Wright talked about that very thing at an event last week what? to promote the Blu-ray, and it goes into, into it in some of the bonus features of how this really was something that had to be staged by the second because each chase scene was choreographed to the song mm -hmm. long before it ever got anywhere near shooting. Yeah, and Kevin Spacey surprised us. That was awesome too. I'm super jealous of that. Like, I want to be in the room. I saw your picture of him and I was oh, like, yeah. I want to be in the room with Kevin Spacey. Um, Kevin Spacey, I was just like, that's the president. Literally a lot of fun and energy just between those two and you can tell that Edgar brings that out in his actors mm -hmm. and it especially comes across on screen when you see somebody who's known for being a bit serious like Jamie mm -hmm. Foxx and you can just kind of yeah. tell he's having fun. Well even John Hamm, like everybody in that movie feels like they showed up to work and were like smiling like yay I get to act today. One of my favorite stories that uh, Edgar Wright told about uh, being on set was when he talked about uh, there's a line Jamie Foxx has to say, and it's uh, it, there's a cuss word in it, so I can't say the whole thing, but it's like I'll leave uh, you out. Uh, you don't know Beep. about Barbara Streisand, or it might have been you don't know Beep. about Barbara Streisand. Uh, Jamie Foxx does know Barbara Streisand, and at some point it came up what Barbara Streisand really like, and Jamie Foxx just straight is like, oh, Barbara Streisand's gangster, and I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I kind of feel like somehow that doesn't surprise me that no. the two of them know each other and like get along. Like oh, I just yeah. feel like that makes sense. So Baby Driver is a lot of fun and Edgar Wright is a great filmmaker. Uh, pastiches is, is a, a fine line. I think some of the people mm -hmm. who do it well, George Lucas clearly did it well with Star Wars. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think a lot of filmmakers like Quentin Tarantino, pe filmmakers are now more comfortable wearing their inspirations on their mm -hmm. sleeves. And that's definitely the case with Baby Driver because it's clearly inspired by a Walter Hill movie called The Driver. This past weekend, uh, Beyond Fest did a double feature of Baby Driver and The Driver Ooh. with Edgar Wright and Walter Hill talking uh, oh gosh, in between. Cool. It was fantastic. And Walter Hill, if you don't realize it, Walter Hill has touched probably every major franchise you could ever dream of and, and like or has inspired a filmmaker who's worked in that genre. Um, he wrote the original draft of Alien. He Ooh. wrote uh, and directed Warriors. He wrote and directed Streets of Fire. And it's nice to see his movies finally getting a lot of the respect they deserve. Mm -hmm. Driver originally tanked when it was released in 1978. And it's, and Edgar Wright called it a quintessential LA film. And it very much is. It's uh, very much that nighttime LA shot that everybody thinks of. Uh, when they think of an LA film. Walter Hill said specifically that uh, creators don't work in a vacuum and mm -hmm. everything is connected. And he does not mind that people now love and appreciate his movies and borrow from them. And Edgar Wright copped to borrowing from it twice uh, for Baby Driver, but then I, I might have, I might have put my hand up and asked a little question. Uh, I needed to find out had he ever borrowed from Walter Hill before. And Edgar Wright admitted uh, that he has borrowed from Walter Hill in The World's End. Uh, okay. He said that the bathroom fight scene was very much, he, he was affected by the Warriors and uh, he remembered that scene. And while he wasn't trying to exactly copy it, he was trying to emulate the feeling of trying to survive that bathroom. So I love Baby Driver. And I love Baby Driver. I don't like how you said that, like you might have loved it more than me. <laughs> so, if you loved it too, we're assuming you loved it, you had to have loved it. It was yeah. great. It, uh, yeah. We have something for you. We've got... 
cool baby driver sunglasses. And we've got cool baby driver art prints from Sony in 1988. I think this was from the 1988 cover. It was at the 1988 event, uh, which if you were watching the live stream, you got to see some of the art from that. Ooh. It was pretty cool. So how do you win this? Well, like and share this video and comment below with your favorite song to drive really, really dangerously to. No, no, no. Like no. super dangerously. No, 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 no. Don't like, listen to him. Drive like, safely. Buckle up. What? Follow all of the laws of the road. What's your favorite song no, 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 to no, no, crash no. to as you drive down the highway of life? I'm <laughs> Brian. And I'm B. And this is not the Mickey Mouse Club. <laughs> You've been watching with Pop. Here for more trailers.